How to use monday.com for task management monday.com tutorial hey guys welcome in this video i'm going to give you a monday.com tutorial i'll show you how to use monday.com for task management project management and much more so let's get into it first of all what you guys need to do is you're going to go to monday.com and you will land right here monday.com is a project management software that allows you to collaborate with your team and maximum your productivity in order to get started with monday.com, you're going to go and click on get started. We can sign up for free and there's no credit card required. So you're going to enter your email address or you can sign up with your Google account. So after the initial sign up, you'll get to the monday.com dashboard. And in Monday, we have different workspaces that we can create. And each workspace has different boards that we create. And in each board, we have different list, gripping, we have different tasks to do. So let's actually create a, a new board from the scratch so that I can show you how to get started. Once you get to Monday, you're going to select the workspace. You will also get a default workspace already created. So let's actually go to the default one. This is what you will get. Now you're going to click on add. And after add, now I have the option to create a new board. We have document dashboard, and I can also choose from template. So let's actually explore some templates on Monday because Monday has a lot of different templates for us in different niches in different categories for instance we have marketing we have project management we have hr design um sales and crm monday is also a crm platform we also have education we have construction nonprofits, and others so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the project management section right here because it will give me very easy to use boards to go for so what i'm going to do is uh, i can actually go and choose this one right here so I'm going to select this template and click on use template. And now you can see my new board is being created. It will have different tasks and then I'll actually show you how to create different tasks on Monday and assign them. So this is the simplest, uh, you know, board that we get on Monday. So first of all, we have the main table here and we have the share option. We have duplicate and rename. So here we have the views. Views are very important on Monday. We have a Kanban view available and then we have a table view and list view as well. Click on this plus button and it will allow you to add more views. You can add table view, dashboard, chart, Kanban, GAN, card, form, file gallery and more. So let's say I actually want to add the Gantt view as well. So I'm going to click on it and it will be added. You can see. Let's actually go back to the Kanban view because I prefer this one. So here we have different lists created. On Monday, I can also invite different team members. So I'm going to go to the invite option right here at the uh, top of the screen and enter an email address and invite a member. Similarly, we have power ups, we have integrations and automation available too. Here we have person filter and sort, and then I can also expand it to the full screen right here. So working on Monday is really easy. Uh, now let's actually get started with our simplest task management board. So first of all, we have all of these groups created. We have working on it, done, stuck and not started. I can create more here. Then I can click on new item and it will allow me to create a new item on the board and then I can select the list. We can also create a new item by clicking right here. Uh, inside a list we can create from here. So I'm going to click on add an item and we can give it a name. So let's actually call it task one. Click enter and the task will be created. Now I'm going to open it up. So this is how you create a task on Monday. There are a lot of different things we can do. First of all, we have the name, which is the task one. Now we're going to select the group, which group you want to go it for. So I'm going to create right here. Now it depends on you how many groups you have created on your board. If you have not created the group, it's fine. We have the owner. Now, this is where I will actually assign it to someone. So I'm going to assign it to myself. Then we have opportunity. Now, all of these columns, it depends on you. If you want to delete any of these, for instance, I do not have a domain. I can just get rid of this option. Then I have priority. I would like to set a priority to my task. We can also edit the labels right here. For instance, we have high, medium, low. I'm going to create a new label of priority and it's going to be urgent there you go and we can change the color to red perfect and i'm going to give it urgent one okay so i'm going to select it and apply so now this one is going to be an urgent task similarly we have tire we have timeline 
initiative uh, status and more. The different types of columns that I'm getting here, they are with the template. And then we have mirror two. Here we have add an update. This is like a comment that I can add to my task. We can also upload the files to a task right here on monday.com. And then we also have activity log. So for now, I'm going to actually close the tab. And this is the task one. We can also switch to the simple main table. And this is what it will look like. And here you can actually see all of the columns again. We have owner. This is the task that we just created. We have owner. We have opportunity, priority, domain, and more. And I can actually swipe to see more. So you can see here we have columns. If I go to the end, I will be able to add more. Click on add column. And now I can even add the date. Now date is really important because I do want to add different deadlines to a task. So I'm going to add the deadline of tomorrow to this task right here. I want to get rid of the mirror option. So I'm going to click on these three dots and then I'm going to click on delete. This column will be deleted from here because I do not need it. And if I want to add another one, then we can add from there. So this is how you do it. You create a task and then we have all of the different columns here. And in each column, you will be able to add all of the different statuses. This is how it works. Similarly, this is a group. And now I can actually change it. This one says Q1 initiatives. I can actually call it the new tasks right here. So we can use monday.com for a business as well, for a small team and even for a personal use too. Uh, now, this is our view on Monday. I can actually add different integrations too. Uh, when it comes to a task management, some of the important integrations that you can add is, for instance, you can add your Notion if you have your tasks there. You can add your Slack to communicate with your team and also keep everything in track. We also have Zoom. We have Google Calendar integrations and more. If I want to create an automation for any of the tasks, then you can create automation from here. This is our automation center. So right here now, uh, what I can do is I can go ahead and now create all of these groups and I can just scroll down a little bit and create all of these groups again and add items again. Um, to add an item, click right here and then you can enter the name and then you will be able to enter all of the columns. If you want to bulk select, you just select from here and you'll also be able to perform bulk actions. With each task, we have these three dots right here that will allow you to open a task. We have move to duplicate copy name copy item link, add subtitle, create new item, archive or delete. If you want to search any of your tasks, you can click on search and you will be able to do so. Then we also have new group options. So if you want to create new groups, then you will create from here and we can also import items to our monday.com. And this way, I, if I already have tasks somewhere created, then I'll be able to just import. We can also change the name of the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it my task management. Okay. And similarly, we have power ups here. I will be getting the notifications. We have an inbox available on Monday as well. If you add your team members and you want to communicate with them, you'll be able to do so from here. We have my work and we have invite member option here again. And then we have this menu here that gives me access to my profile, import data, integrations, uh, recycle bin. All of the deleted apps will be found here. Certain tasks will be found here. We have apps market. We have uh, shortcuts and more. So in workspace, you can also switch between your different boards that we have created within a workspace. So you can see this is my new board that I created. This is for my simple task management. Um, so we can switch between the different boards. This will help me organize my work. I can create a workspace and then I'll create different boards in it. Each board will have different lists and different groups. Each group will have its own items, will have its own task. And I will be able to assign the task to my team members, chat with them, collaborate with them and add due dates to uh, keep everything on track. I'll be able to even add priorities to my task and fulfill these tasks on time. Uh, so this is how monday.com work. Using it for task management is really easy. You can go ahead and get started for free. Use monday.com to get creative and maximize your productivity. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.